this is uh, Zelfi here. This is my round one versus uh, Bejo in the Fed Tour. Keep rolling the same dice. Uh, our lineups are Valui Aboro and Zephiel, and then Bejo is playing Fear Family Vala. So, not the best. I need to roll one more. Cool. And we should be ready to go. I don't have too many things to say explicitly about this matchup. I'm just really hoping my decks don't get hot up too much, but outside of that, I'm feeling decently confident. But like, these are not all decks I really want to be fighting. I think Fear is probably the one that I'm the most comfortable beating multiple times. Usually I'd say Femwee, but like, Femwee can't high roll me. <laughs> And there's something I can really do about that, if that does happen, right? Um, right. It's really hard to pull anything meaningful to Eliwood's matchup. I also have to see what version it is. I thought this in, um, what was it called? I thought this in Cruise already, so I shouldn't remember what it is, but I gotta be real, I really don't. I also don't have a great um, early game opening hand, unfortunately, so that's also a bit of a pain. Maybe we can smack a hero. Uh, rip. Plumber is a bitch. This is unfortunately not the super slow opening that you want to see from Zephiel. Usually you want to be playing down literally anything else. Because I was going to be able to attack me back for free. Hmm. Somebody kills a two cost or lower, yeah. It still doesn't feel that helpful, so unfortunately, I think I'm just like. I'm not going to give him the bond so he can play T next turn. I'd rather have a chance to knock it out of his hand if possible, so I'll just go ahead and play slow. Even better is if I was able to hit a Gregor out of his hand, though he could also just Clash Age Gregor here to avoid that. But we are going to see the core Clash Age. Fabry draw. Makes sense. I would have loved to draw that lost sooner, but now we just sort of have to rip. Technically, we rip these two. Shuffle, yeah. And then, like, I do just have to give it to him at this point. There's just no reason to hold on and procrastinate for much longer. Um, my one costs also are as good in this matchup uh, compared to normal decks, just because, like, normally you can buff them up to 70, like, Al would be able to hit 70. Uh, but in this case, uh, I need to be able to hit 80. So this is strictly down to the Keats and the Elliewood too. And he is just going to slow roll me. Okay, I see how it is. I want to drop the Erica plus Fey. Draw. Oh my god, there's so many cards. Um, this will be a... Oh, what am I talking? For guaranteed math, I can do plus 20 here. And that will hit, even if I hit a Zephyl 10. I think that's fair. We'll just go ahead and do this. And then we will rip. We hit an evade. Pretty good. Zephyl will hit most of the time regardless. Cool. I'd rather save my recycled support, just in case. We see an evade pulled out. And then we got you. Courage. We don't need that. And this will hit, too. That's really good.
and they take the orb. Usually, they'll pretty much always dodge here, uh, so this is like a really good sign, just because it means that he likely does have another dodge in his hand, and so he's very vulnerable to another type of push. Uh, whether or not I want to deploy Eliwood or uh, Faye next turn is also up in the air. Also, like, I could technically get Delphi in here, which would suck. Okay, we're just going to see Nyx. Ooh, but Nyx isn't that great either. Just because, like, um, it does flip my bond. Tragic. If he remembers, sure. And then, like, attack your attack face. Cool. Or you could also just choose not to attack face as well. That'd be fine. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, the, the play could be Eliwood Roy. I was thinking about saving a little up, but I changed my mind. I want Eliwood Roy. So, pull you. Roy can just go ahead and swing into here. And we hit a key. Sick. Nothing in this world matters. <laughs> Shuffle. Yep, he got it. A tiki. Uh, that's not very impactful. Fate emblem. I will just go ahead and stack the key again. And we can set up another magic need on the following turn. <laughs> Sick. He's already, like, so down, and he has so many more orbs to take. Like, he just dealt the one card out of my hand. Granted, like, I did show a fate emblem, so... He should probably recognize that the one card in my hand left is still super important. We're just gonna see Tiki. Is that it? Okay. And he has to clear, or else he can just die in a random... Uh, buffs from Zephyr, basically. There is no hope left. Bond to you. And then we can play nice and slowly. We can just wait here. Courage. That we dodge, sure. But he's getting down to it, and he doesn't have that many cards left. Even if he played like a Maui this turn, he only has one that we can heal back, so I'm pretty sure we are in a super solid spot here. My only concern would be actually using uh, my. Oh, never mind. That's concerning. That's less concerning. <laughs> I see the state we're in. Is he gonna heal a Robin? No, just a Delthea. That tells me one of his cards is Delthea in hand. Yes, cool. <laughs> I actually did not even pay attention to that. Huh, Jenny's so bad. <laughs> I feel like fucking uh, what's it called? <laughs> I feel like I'm Aki if I said that. Jenny is so bad. Okay. Uh, da da da. We will draw a card. Buffs go all into Erica. Shuffle. All right. Don't hit the Robin. Ah, well, we knew that was in there. We knew that could be coming. Then we will just get the ramp again. Uh, this is 80 to 90. Draw a card. 
and my Zephyr luck this game has been pretty good. Outside of like the early game, which was really whatever, this has been super good. Uh, yeah. And then next turn, he really shouldn't have that much. You know, we knocked out Delphia, he, we took out the Fade? No. He just kept the Evade in his hand. He can, like, lob a card and tap retreat. I think that's his best call. That unfortunately does hit because only one only gets plus 20. He gets leveled up enemies. Yep. He will do the lob. Shuffle. I really just don't think he has Rainbow Rama at this point. Yeah. GG. Game two. So going first into the Fur Valley family lineup. I think. So I actually don't want to play Valley into family. Because if anything, I'd love to not give family another chance to win. So I think I'm going to play a Boro. A Boro is really good going second. Anyways. And against everything else, like, I'm not too scared. Like, I think my Borla should be able to beat all of his list. Second or first? I'm such a jackass. Sure. And we found... Yeah, it's... It's okay, Kurt. You can't be too mad when you have a real in your hand, because at least you know your late game power spike. What matters is it's gonna be super good. But this early game's not the best. Especially against Fur. Maybe this is the one time I lose the Fur. <laughs> after talking bad shit about it. I kind of thought we'd see Family going first. I think Family going first is really strong to get meeting Gregor. Um, you have... I don't know, you just have a lot of initiative. This is going to be fat. It better not be fat. He might just have a few X supports. Uh, that should just stay in a little bit. I still need to hoard my days in this matchup just because I don't want to ever be pushed. Misses. Hits. Like, I want to have my evades just so uh, Fur can never, like, crit me to death. This is a, because usually I'm just very, uh, against, like, any other deck. That doesn't have a lot of uh, push potential. I just bond all my fades. They're usually like the least useful cards that I have available to me. Turn three, I do want to dodge because I have the sets in my hand. Though if I get heroed here, yeah. well, that's a good start. That's one less attack. I can bank on the fur missing or. I can't bank on the firm missing the attack here, because that would suck a lot. I'm probably going to see this moved up. Uh, and then I will go ahead and take this. This is fine. Cool. Uh, for the sake of putting cards down on the table, I want to put down Karagi this turn. Sort of. I definitely want to have you back. Like, really close to body, this is for sake. Um, but also, I think Rainbow will get back by Jail, so I think it's just fine. And then we could get another Yuna out, and this could maybe help clear some shit. I can attack him here. That works. Cool. I should have also drawn first. Whoops. My bad. That's helpful. And for Al, I'm not too worried about Al, so we can just get face. Like, sure, Al can crit me, but now with my extra evades right now, I'm feeling pretty alright. If he's able to clear talk me, then I have a huge, huge deploy next turn. He might just not even be focused on clear talk me. Um, he'll still go for the pull regardless if he's a decent player, just because, like, Al can swing easier to talk me than anything else.
I'm also probably going to be evading pretty extensively. I already have my curve lined up. I am missing my Ryoma deploy, but it's not like I'm not going to get that. Um, I'd rather evade early, just in case... Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> this game is free. Yeah, this is, like, so good for me. Uh, this is definitely going to hit. We'll still evade. Just because we don't actually know which one of these units get hit. They need attack emblems themselves. And the best part about, like, this turn is that all this stuff is going to go to the back line now. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, uh, you can't be doing that. Now we can have bought evade. We bought the 4-3 because the one cost can be used as a crit. Play Takami, boom. Flip an orb face up. And then we're just going to shoot with Sensodo. I don't think we have to do anything else. Uh, Josh is the scariest. So I actually don't mind clearing Josh. What's better than him having a full backline field is having no field at all. So yeah, you know, you're right. At first I was like, I'll just backline jail everything. But honestly, with how far ahead I am in the game, there's no reason to like be doing that against him. I thought it through. Oh my god. Also, sort of a little ordinary moment. Uh, this is still good. Because I was already thinking about whether or not I wanted to save two balls anyway. So when I go to my real mom we turn, um, if I wanted to leave the bots face up, so I get the attack rally. So like ordering ordering lol anyways, because like you should still check to see if you're going to have that option. Uh, two draw cards, right? And then you think about it, but um, I don't. I think it's kind of inconsequential, just because. I was already playing the Chevy while we rally up, just for the extra consistency, right? I want these units to be able to hit for. Because, like, you ha you do have to play. You can't just see, oh, you know, they're not clashing. You know, it's all look. Any first? Nope, we're so good at this game. Uh, you do have to play to their best outs as well. And their best out is obviously just drawing main promo. Uh, does this help? I would just dodge this. There's no reason to take that. My hit is already phenomenal as it is. Cool. He's already well aware, unfortunately. Uh, I can just grab that back. Boom. I won't be grabbing that back because I will just be doing this instead. I will flip one of these bonds. I'll flip this one for plus 50. Use small boy. And everything else gets plus 10 as well. Oh, okay. So now, yeah, I, I couldn't even really consider grabbing another crit. Ryoma swings, because Ryoma draws a card. Cool. Technically, in order of theme, I should have, uh, I should have Ryoma drawn first. Just in case. Because I could have deployed auto, yeah. That would have been nice. Oh, well. It, it sucks. That's a misplay. It's not a misplay if you just hit the key. <laughs> Um, now we flip one, draw one, <laughs> that's so cool, hit a 10, that's not a 10, hit a 10, and that works too. That hits. Yeah, okay. <laughs> GG.
Game three. Now, all I have to do is win with Valerie. And I, you know, I had a little bit of doubts about Zavkiel just because he failed me against Basil's Roy. Um, and Valerie also sucks too. This deck is good, and I wanted to bring it. No, I needed to bring it. But also, there's still, um, yeah, there's always just the possibility of making wrong plays in this deck, which is entirely possible. Uh, we got at least Silas is already. Cool. Um, yeah, if he picks a deck to go into fir go first into this, I presume it have to be his own Valui. Unless it fits for, I don't know if Fur wants to go first or second. But we're, I like hitting my stupid opponent in the face, but you know it's tough to say. Okay, it's gonna be Fur. Uh, okay, well. I actually would prefer to go first against Fur, just because I think this is his weakest deck. <laughs> Pitching for Billis for that, cool. What do we got here? Oh my god, we hit Bridge? Okay, so... What am I doing? Is my turn three gonna be Silas? If not, it's Bond Elise. I don't want to play Elise turn three. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about it. I think it's always going to be Silas because Silas just has the chance to high roll the game out of control from there. So we will go ahead and just swing here. While we self, the first self. Another Silas? Okay. I will be taking this just so I have a Silas dodge as well. Mirror? Oh my god, his plays are so slow. Dude, he's gonna lose a fur again. This sucks for him. Ugh. Uh, that is unfortunately something I have to take. I could dodge. There's merit to dodging. But also with the way my hand is set up right now, um, I don't think it's entirely necessary. Uh, we technically... on this... Mill. Cool. And then we swing. Maybe he doesn't hit promo again. On Elise next turn. More likely. Miss promo again? That'd be funny. Nah. That was never gonna happen. I don't think so. Mirror again? This is the third mirror in a row. He just keeps on drawing these mirror villises. The Alphonses. Uh, this one I don't mind taking. King Leo is useless, even more useless for Elise. Cool. Do, do, mill, egged. What does that matter for? Heroes. Unfortunately, because he has a mirror bill on the field, it means I can't move back with Silius. Yes, this does hit. That is a 10 support. Thank you. Uh, I have to fucking keep track of this shit. I don't have a bonus turn. They have three cards. God. I hate keep track of Veronica because, like, no one blames you, but, like, sometimes it's supposed to be back in the deck, and it could hypothetically dead draw you, like, uh, you could draw, like, eggs and be like, oh, I fucking hate this card. Oh god, we're being pushed on face. Yikes. I don't have any... Hmm. Was that a consideration? Maybe I should have at least healed. I could die this turn. Like, actually, though. Unless uh, some of these miss somehow? Possible for Josh and Garrick to miss. I guess for two. They could all technically miss. They could also try to clear. Uh, do this. I I was thinking about, oh, you know, silence would be nice, but I really just need to turn hits away from my face in general. Silence 
So, you know, I have no qualms of dodging here. And then we will unfortunately have to pretty much take this hit. Yep. Nogpos. Okay, well, now I am sort of hoping that this mill is going to go good. Mill. That is a great start. Flip you, flip you, flip you, reveal the owner top five. Uh, let's see here. I want a Ryoman hand, a Ryoman Balmus, little Lilith. It feels bad to be taking this. Because it's not that great of a card, but I gotta do something. Yeah. You are correct. That looks good here. All the Liliths are like basically right next to each other. He's already down to zero, holy shit. I didn't realize I was facing him down. <laughs> Uh, there's also technically battle shenanigans, but I'd rather just smack him in his dumb, stupid face. Give him the chance to. Now we have two evades, one can be Zephyld, but it's a 10 card hand, is that really gonna happen? Uh, does Scarec have to be in the front line? Scarec does have to be in the front line, for both the, for both the buff and the, uh, the summon. Oh, this is a little bit concerning. Erica draw. Courage. He should have tapped moved uh, Garrick up as well. So glad he didn't realize that hit because I think he just wasted an Erica crit for no reason. <laughs> he he does realize his firm has a skill, right? You should have tapped Luke Erica. And he's still not gonna rectify his mistakes. This is kinda scary. Uh oops. So one, two. He only needs to flip two. You get a draw for free. Day draw. Tough on the bow. Okay, so you did get a draw for free, okay. Uh, that means I will go ahead and dodge with this one. Finally, now we're going to get the buff up. Spray so you to play Takami, then set everything to the back line. Oh, we're running away. I see how it is. Plays not a whole lot of good ones, but we do have some luxury. Lilith here. Uh... Yes, I don't mind putting Lilith in the front line. She's not going to be doing that much. I actually don't mind at least the front line either. Just in case if I do decide to move. Okay, mill. Flip that. Wow. That one's pretty good. And then I will have enough of aid. So copy. Tap. Ryoma. Wobbly. <laughs> Can I squeeze a different two drop in? No, I didn't have a different two drop. Okay. Uh. 
we should swade. We should swade here with the Bobby because I have the crit for it. Yes. This could technically be a Bobby dodge, but see my board say Ah, I see. Uh, this will be a unfortunate flip one board face. Because I really do do not want Derek on the field right now. For the back line is not super concerning. I'll have two dodges. No crits in there. So Josh gone. A single Josh gone. A single Owl gone. It's still possible he has crits for a bunch of his units, yeah. So the responsible play is we take this back to our hand. Little skill. It's like, why did you clear the gear? It's just because I wanted to have less hits in general. This field state is fine. And it works. He does, we do have pull, but we also have three evades in our hand. So then if he does that, he can overcommit resources, and then maybe we can like, find Tokini. Did we mill already? We did mill it. So for pull face? Ugh, scary. We're just gonna be swinging? Okay. That is 60, 10. Okay, no, it's 50 plus 20. So yeah, that will hit. He doesn't get free draw off of that. Cool. I must thought I threw away an elusivate. First skill now. Well, he did waste the hit. That's alright by me. That's another Algon, so less likely to be an Al. You will have to see if he has all four of these hits. Forget Erica. Ah, darn. Forget Josh. The Josh naturally hitting is also super scary if he has the last Alcrit in his hand. <laughs> Shush. I'm surprised the Lilf skill. Uh, I guess it doesn't actually matter here because he doesn't have any uh, face up odds. Uh, this is the crit. That's the hit. Sure. Oh, he's gonna be moving fur up. Fuck. Okay, well, yeah, I dodged. Now we have to rely on basically a double solve here. Josh. Could support the mill at least. It's gonna hit 70 all by itself. First off, for crit. Darn. Alright, GG. Game four. He did have the L crit, you fucking bastard. Game four. Um, Valuey at least gets to go first now against everything. So, uh, that's a plus. Where is he? He's right here. Um, I don't have too much else to say. Not a playable hand. I mean, sorta. If I had a Zora in it, it would've been good. 
This is fine. It's missing the turn four. It's missing either the Azure or the Promo. Wait. Yes? Motherfuckers that are multiple MC lists. Okay. Um, do we bridge again? Bridging almost got us killed last time because we had to take the double or break. It's always bonded on kiss. We don't have a way of pitching it. We don't run sugar rays. Yep, well, we brought the raw list. Unfortunately, I can't even verify that. The only person who could actually verify that is Tabard. So, yeah, good on you. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> sure. I wasn't actually even thinking about that, but, like, if you're going to do that, sure. He declared it himself? I... I don't know. Is there a rule on that? Doesn't sound like a rule. I'm even more confused. Also, he's not doing the bait. <laughs> he could have been running the other one cost on uh, the family. I like... Oh, gee. Uh, there could have been, um, it would be funny if he was running, like, both family ones, and they were the same one, so you didn't even know which one you were playing into. That would have been funny. Of course, like, it sucks because there's an optimal one to run, unfortunately. You do need a black-white one for this one, and the other one you have way too many benefits. Oh, I made Perma. Now we have Dodge as well. Cool. Uh, Mill is whatever. It's Swain. We don't have to worry about like Mirabilis or some bullshit like that, so we get the tap dude back for free. Gregor, this turn sucks, but there's no blue bond. Cool. Fuck, <laughs> it's a Gregor. Like I'm playing against um, family. This is Valerie. Uh, I was about to see you thinking about turning with that boy. Um, that does disrupt me just a little bit. Do I want double mill? I think I want double mill. Sure. This isn't going to be a vein heavy matchup anyways, I think. And I have more than enough of veins usually. Cool. Now we have a Femway there, and Femway's really good. Uh, just for being able to instantly clear uh, something uh, that he moved into the back line or just clearing any randomly big threat he wants to put down. Next turn I can bomb the Mawi because we won't need him anymore. Okay, well, okay, let me go ahead and pause this. Cool, we are back. He healed a Femwee with his Elise, and he's attacking here. Got it. Are we critting? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, what's happening here? What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so I thought about it more, and the reason why he should have taken the single mulligan is just events. Uh, we don't need that. I'll just go ahead and take this. 
the reason why taking the single mulligan is good is in case he ended up loading the same list anyways and he wasn't lying and he was using it to scam an extra mulligan out of me, you know. So, you know, I wrap that around. Uh, we don't need autos around here. We can play for more of a curve game or we just do the reasonable thing and just do this. We can go again. Milling again is looking fine. Because that's a pretty good mill. Those are amazing orbs. Having to dodge orbs is good though. Um, more resilience and their push against me. His boundless is not active whatsoever. Oh, but that is really good. <laughs> That's a devastating pull. Holy shit. Copy Brothers, tap. So Ryoma, tap. Oh, we're just gonna summon a zero. Okay. Hopefully not all my pawns get flipped here. That'd be nice. Let's wait in here. He will draw for it. Valerie versus uh, Emily, but this is looking a little bit sketchy. We have a decent early game. We have a bridge at all. This is where it could really be a game changer here. One hand. It's taken a while to think about this, so I don't think this is an easy decision. There's no like snap picks here, uh, what I'm noticing. Though, there's nothing I can really see in snap picking. Uh, Brioma would be good. If he runs Plumeria, Plumeria would be good here. Ryoma should great family. Useless, helpful, helpful. I presume he saw two Ryomas though. Most case scenario, I think he does. Or most of the time, I think he does. We will do this. Yes, they do. What the hell? <laughs> We're on seven. I, I, uh, plays. We got... Destroy one other ally and then pop something. Fortunately, this is uh, another ally. So we can't pop Nail Horde himself. I would love to self-destruct right now just to kill something. I think a raw dog piece would be fine. This play could have actually been nail cord auto. Auto swing destroy a kill lease. Leave a zero up? That doesn't sound right though. I would go ahead and just plot my dog piece down. Uh we need plays under boundless, so we'll go ahead and do that. Technically, most people know he's 60, but like you still technically have to declare it if you want to attack. A mill. And then we will shoot here. I have a little knock this crit. I'd rather just not leave it on the field if I can. Okay. In that case... Copy you. Yeah, that's fine. You may say, why the hell am I trying to clear the Azura? Um, mostly, I just don't want to leave um, a unit up that can get a tempo uh, with Silas, for example. Uh, it can just be more tap fodder. I'm working on, I'm trying my best to clear everything. This is also a little ordering moment because then that would have hit, I wouldn't have had to use the crit. 
but it's fine. We got a dodge here. I do need a Zura next turn, uh, for sure, though. He is a little bit strapped on mobs. Ryoba. Scary. But I think we'll be fine. Another auto. No, you know, I'm, I'm misplayed. I should really just be using my Azura. I'm trying really hard to do things I really don't need to be doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud of this match at all. Uh, all phase could be slightly scary with the least crit. I think we will see the Anonkas cleared though, so we are probably going to be fine. Least, yeah. Oh, wait, we could be grabbing a crit or something. I don't know what units he can be deploying. He can't deploy that. So we're fine. We should be in a good spot. Wealth crit? Oh, shit, yeah, there's that. That is scary. Protector. Ah, I was thinking about trying to, like... Hmm. Okay. World crit is mad annoying. And it isn't. I will go ahead and take this one and then dodge with it. Copy. I guess he hasn't used the copy this turn, huh? That mill is pretty good. <laughs> okay. Uh, like I said, I've got a dodge this. The correct play is still going to be these two, even if I can't do anything with that this turn. You will flip what bond? None of these are super good. So it'll be you for plus 20. He's family starter, so he has less Bobby uh, dodges. That dodge is pretty good for me, though. Um, now we will copy Azura, which I've been procrastinating on for a long time. I didn't do anything yet. Oh, no. I fucked everything up. I still have to do it, that's the unfortunate part. I haven't even milled yet, did I? Okay, this is salvageable, I guess. Yes. So dumb. I can't believe I let that happen. Real dodge. Nope. Thank God. Move all top of the deck. Shuffle. Now we flip three. I'll grab. I'll flip that one just in case. Ah, uh, we'll do this instead. Sure. Reveal the owner top five. That could have been a mess. This is still a mess. 
you. <sighs> I will try my best here, but it is going to be difficult. He... I just don't have a whole lot to say. I just fucked this up so badly. I should have reserved a weight earlier. I don't know why I was trying so hard to clear the... You know what? That's a very slow deploy from him. Mill, auto, again. So, pretty useless. Is that like... I mean, there's two autos in there. So, more likely, I think the autocrits are offline by this point. I don't have access to Femboy Plus. I have Femboy Silas next turn, though. There's a Rally, right? He copied, uh, I don't remember what he copied, but that misses. That's a little bit of hope. <laughs> TBH. I hope we see some Schizophrenic Charming in here. Copy, flip one draw. Or something else. Shake draw? Sure. I wonder if shake draw is better than Elise heal. I guess not because his deck just reshuffled. We will attempt to do that. Elise crit? Sure. Auto crit? Don't tell me it has the last auto. Okay. That can't even crit now. Silence move, sure. We have, what do we have available to us? We have to keep this regardless. I'd love to... One, two, three, four, five plus... Yeah, as much as I'd love to like double Femwe this turn, I don't think I can. So we will do this. Plus... You. Bill. God, that is fucking huge. I'll have talk of here, so we can't do that. What can I do? I can flip one for another big hit. That is somewhat usable in this situation. I don't have any dodges in here. I could be healing back. Um, I could grab an auto and play it with a Mobwe. What else feels productive? I really don't like that, but I think I'm going to go with this. I will go ahead and do this. Heal one of these. And then pop you. Sure. I do have a rally up, technically.
opportunity to thin line here. Uh, we could divert more attacks if we keep the Silas dodge, or we could just play it. Uh, Silas could also help with the push somewhere. Uh, now that I start, I should have thought about this before swinging, so I didn't give up the information that I have a Silas in my hand now, because he can now be a little bit aware of what's happening. I will keep it because I need to divert hits. He still has a bond card to play a card as well, and that can be a little bit of a limiting factor in this situation. The card he took was from MC, I think. No, it was from his orb, so he doesn't know what it is. I was going to say, if it was from MC, it was probably not that great anyways. Seeing as he hasn't taken it so far, he bonds a value. Okay, so that means he's definitely going all faces turn. We see a family here. Family is going to clear or something. Is he? All the leaves. Sure. I guess we will be slow rolling. That's another auto. He has all three of them in there. That's insane. Oh, he may just not have the firepower to break through me. I mean, if he copied... No, even if he copies small beat kit. Uh, this, he can flip one and do it, though. He attacks with Femme first, though, just to make sure. But nope. I will have my Silas up still. I need the Silas buff, it's keep me in the game. But I have the Anonkos in here too, don't I? What happened to my Anonkos? That was the other game, wasn't it? Uh... Yeah. No, I, yeah, I'll let that die. The Ryoma more than likely isn't going to live. This is my out. I found my out. He probably swings first, just in case. Interesting. Egg? Oh. That's frustrating. He never has a crit for that. <laughs> I know where they all are. Can you roll like more than four? No. After being able to run like six top dots. Elise is probably gonna heal an evade or something. Has to be, right? You don't wanna get pushed down this turn. A Lilith? What is happening? Are we really in this situation? Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we do have the bots to deploy just those two. Okay. And I will just deploy these two. Oh. Uh, Bill. Well, 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 if we came back. Hmm. 
He deployed a cord. What the fuck does that mean? He has a wolf crit. So could I survive? Most of the cords are in play there. The Febways, there's two in there. It's three Valerie's. That means there's four Valerie, two more Febways somewhere. Two more Valerie's. One more Bobby. In that hand size, did he really just like feel comfortable about not healing so much that he thought he... Oh, this is so, so tough. I definitely copy something else too. In order to make the Silas hit, I have to copy Mobwee or Silas and then buff it. If I grab Mobwee, I can grab back another card, but what other card is super helpful here? There's not just a whole lot at my disposal to be helpful. Wobbly does increase the power that everything hits normally now. But then I have technically Wobbly crits. Sure. I just gotta pray that Silas is self, which he can't. Okay. So we should be fine. The good face, at least. I don't like this game state. This hits. He has all dodges too. We know it, unfortunately. And then he has a family dodge or a mobile dodge, one of the two. Yep. Add this back to hand. Add this back to hand. Yankers. <sighs> Black Zero would be really helpful right now. <laughs> I originally took it out just because I wasn't fighting and didn't like Valuey mirrors ever. I guess in Top Cut you should consider it a lot more, huh? None of those are. Azura is kind of helpful, actually. Never mind. <laughs> he only has a wolf at hand. Oh, he's going to go for a little crit, plus a least crit, probably. Ooh. You know, I should have thought about slow rolling him too because I knew exactly what types of cards he had, right? I knew the lines he was making couldn't have resulted in anything else. And I lost because of it. I'm frustrated with myself. Crit. Oh, 
attack with shuffle. Boom, boom, boom. All top attack with shuffle. Put those in retreat. Middle support. Dodge. Did I just win? <laughs> I mean, it's not guaranteed. The that can't crit. At least can heal mob. Or mob can drop a mob. If he remembered he copied mob weed. Which he should, right? <laughs> he put the catters up on the field and everything. Oh no. Oh no no no. What can he do? Scale. Does he have any other tricks up his sleeve? That's all Silas. He had to play that. That's a dodge. And a, uh... Bro. <laughs> what is happening? What is this fucking game? This game sucks. I don't deserve to win this. I'm not trying to talk shit on myself, but my misplays earlier about just not using a zero early, I don't think that was good. So we have to get three hits. Between all these units. There's technically a Lilith here. If I can't while we crit. And I just have to guarantee three hits. I have a Mobby Crit. I have a Copy. I have a Lilith. Let's do this one step at a time. Okay. We know that this can hit. We hope this can hit. Don't hit the egg. <laughs> if we hit the egg here, it's all over. Okay. <sighs> and then we copy real left with. Oh my god, this set was so ass. I mean, the end game was really, really cool. <laughs> yeah. The end game was super cool and all, but, um, man, I should have just deserved it earlier. I think I could have put myself in a way better position. Uh, anyways, until next time.